So far, I think it catches more. You really don't miss anything with that drone personnel. There's room for air, I feel like. Uh, with the drone, you get video. You can see a lot more detail other than a human going down there with a flashlight and possibly missing something that's very crucial. My name is Joseph Valenzuela, and uh, I'm one of the founders of Pathfinder Optics. So currently we're here in Tashby, California, and we're here at Airstreams Renewables. For us to connect with customers, with landowners like this one here, uh, sometimes it's need to need basis, sometimes it's a uh, emergency base, but then we also schedule it out for next year, 2025, if we look into the future. Uh, there's set programs to say, we're at end of year warranty for so many of these, so we need to get those we're already planned out and scheduled out for either 25 to 45 wind turbines at a time. My name is Josh Shulgin. I'm the site supervisor for the Windstream site here in Tehachapi. So basically how we operate our site is for every six months, we do a six month and 12 month maintenance. Um, each maintenance will vary different uh, jobs and aspects of the maintenance. So for what we did today with the drone guys is to help longevity and look for any issues with the blades such as cracks. Other ways would be hiring a qualified personnel to actually physically climb down into the blade and do visual inspections with lights. We've had some guys out in the past, I wanna say they've gotten them maybe two to three a day. And just from what I've saw what you guys have done, I'm very positive it could inspect a lot more than what a human could do. Drone uh, definitely benefits uh, a lot more safety as in not having a personal down inside the blade. A lot more room for air if something were to happen with somebody. Having a drone in there uh, takes that uh, you know, out of the equation. Across the board in the different industries that I'm in alone, I see the Elios 3 replacing a lot of human entry, especially here in the wind turbine sector. Uh, like I said, effectiveness is huge. Uh, efficiency is huge. And then safety factors. If we can eliminate people from having to go inside of something so confined space and such a high risk, uh, it's going to change the game. Yeah. For the Elios going in, uh, compared to a person going in, the downtime is astronomical. Uh, we can get up and down tower within an hour and a half to two and a half hours compared to where if a human or an RC car went in, you're looking anywhere between six to eight hours. And so the downtime for that and you look into cost savings, it's massive. And the customer is very happy because of the, the power and energy that we're able to produce more and more rather than having one turbine down for a full day, we're only having it down for a quarter of the day and it's only a fraction of the cost that's uh, willing to be lost. Mm -hmm.